Hi, this is Dominic, the maker of CSV Database. Today we're going to be writing a CSV file from an XML document. So first I'm just going to go ahead and use the CSV Database library. And we're going to truncate the order lines text file, if it exists. It's checking to see if the file exists, it didn't exist. Next we're going to create our order lines records then we're going to do a bulk insert in, order, in our order line records into the order lines text csv file that's what this is doing so all, all of our order lines are going to be bulk inserted and create the order lines text csv file that's what this is okay we're going to bulk insert It's checking if the file exists. Okay, it created the it created this this the text file. We'll check over here. Here it is, the order lines text file. There's our order lines records. So it created the CSV file. The default delimiter is pipe. It's always defaulted to pipe. You can specify the delimiter you want to use. Next, we're going to write an XML document. We're going to write we're going to write we're going to create a CSV data reader where customer ID equals 1,002 and our customer ID equals 1,002 it it will then write the XML document using that data reader object and it's going to create an order lines .xml file so it's creating our XML document it created the XML document we'll go over here and check here's our XML document it created the XML document it has all of our customer ID equals 1,002. Next, we're going to um, we're going to uh, write a, a CSV file. The CSV file we're going to create is order lines 2.txt. You can see here order lines 2.txt does not exist. What we're going to do is we're going to take the the order lines XML document and then we're going to create a CSV file and then we're going to call it order lines Two dot text. So we're going to go ahead and create that. Okay, it's finished. So let's go over here and check order lines two dot text, and it has where customer ID equals one million two. And finally, we're going to create order for when you if you're going to if you're going to use uh the write a, write csv file if you're going to use this method um if you if you're using if your if your xml document is more than 4 gigabytes of memory if it's more if it's going to take up more than 4 gigabytes of memory to use uh use use this one right here okay you do have to specify your elements and what that means is if you go over here in the order lines XML order num you can see here order num customer ID customer ID quantity quantity product ID product ID those XML elements you do have to specify them in order to use this version this version you don't have to specify any of the the XML or elements and this version right here but it's limited to four gigabytes of memory so if the file takes up this XML document if in memory if it takes four more than four gigabytes of memory you're gonna have to use this one in order to use this one you have to specify your XML elements but you can anything greater than four gigabytes of memory you can you have to use this one it uses the the right XML object uh, XML writer. It uses XML writer. This uses XML writer. This one uses uh, a data set, write XML. I believe. It uses, it uses a data set. That's why it, it takes up all the memory. It, take, it, will t it, it could take up uh, over 4 gigabytes of memory if, you, if your XML document is more than 4 gigabytes of memory in a, in a data set object. So, uh, 
write CSV. We're going to write CSV, and it's going to it's going to create an order line three dot text CSV file. This is a CSV file. We're going to head and create that. Okay, it's done. Let's uh, order lines three dot text. There it is, right there. So this is how you write uh, from an XML document. How you how do you write a CSV? So if you want to convert your XML documents to a CSV file, this is the way you do it. the The default delimiter is pipe, but you can specify the delimiter. And here you can actually specify the delimiter. Right here, delimiter, the default is pipe. And the amount of time it takes to, to, to create one record, this is five seconds before failing. So if you want to specify a different delimiter on your CSV file, this is where this is where you can specify. So if you wanted to put a comma, you can do that right there. And that would make your, your CSV file a comma, the limited file. But it's pipe by default. Okay, like and subscribe. So you just found out how to how to write an XML doc how do you, how do you convert a XML document to a CSV document? Like and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed and share with your friends. And the the download to the light the CSV di CSV database library is in the description below. So thank you and have a wonderful day.